But first tonight at 10, Austin police say they are putting a dent in the K2 crisis. Police say nearly 20 suspected drug dealers are facing second degree felonies and thousands of dollars in fines. KXAN's Aaron Cargyle found out it is a lengthy process to put them behind bars. Take you to everything you can drink. You can tell these boots have racked up many miles. Even on his first trip to Texas, Zach Hackett is no stranger to K2. I think it's horrible back home and here. Not a pretty connection between New Brunswick, Canada and Austin. You have a beautiful organic plant that can heal people and people are poisoning it for money and I think it's completely atrocious and wrong. He is just one block away from Austin's K2 epicenter where Austin police just made a massive string of arrests with the help of live halo cameras. This is what police are looking for. These mini cigars. K2 dealers will empty out the tobacco inside and replace it with the drug. But even when an officer finds one of these, they can't make the arrest right then and there. A Travis County drug prosecutor says there are tests officers can run on the spot when they find street drugs like cocaine. But K2 has to be sent off to a lab or several labs to identify all of the chemicals, a necessary step before making an arrest. Results can take months, and if the test comes back positive, Positive, police go back and track down the suspect, which can be tough when the majority are homeless. In my opinion, if you're poisoning people, you get locked up. But the DA's office says many times, as soon as a suspect bonds out, they're back selling it again. Aaron Cargyle, KXAN News. We checked and found poison centers across the nation report more than 650 K2 calls just this year. That's more than 160 a month. And those are just the calls to poison centers. The government monitors drug trends, including K2 and spice in teenagers. Doctors have seen more than 2.5% of 8th graders using the drug. And the numbers rise as they age. More than 3% of 10th graders use the drug. And high school seniors use K2 at a rate of 3.5%. The government looks at this information to see if the dangers of certain drugs are rising.